It's been a couple of busy weeks here at Wilkes. Not two weeks ago, we broke ground on a brand new science building. This morning, we're breaking ground, metaphorically speaking, on a new future for Wilkes. Since its founding in 1933, this institution has had only five presidents. Today, we're going to introduce the sixth. Dr. Leahy will begin his duties here on July 1st and we'll all be getting to know him and his family very well over the next several months. Now I am very proud to present to you the sixth president of this great institution we call Wilkes University, Dr. Patrick Leahy. Good morning everyone and thank you so much for being here. I want to thank you Krista for that kind introduction. More importantly I want to thank you and Alexandra for your leadership. It was meeting you and the other members of the search committee that fueled my interest in becoming the sixth president of Wilkes University. I want to thank you too, Jack Miller, and the entire board of trustees for your vote of confidence. Wilkes University is very fortunate to have you as our board chair, and I will be very fortunate to have you as my board chair. I will do everything I can in the coming years to validate your decision. I'd also like to recognize uh, this morning the current president of Wilkes University, Tim Gilmore and his wife Patty. We'll have plenty of opportunities over the next few months to celebrate your many achievements here, Tim. But I want to thank you publicly for taking a good school and putting it on the path to greatness. Before I proceed any further, I would like to introduce my family to you a little bit more formally. I'd like to ask them to please stand if they would. My wife, Amy, of 17 years. My daughters, Grace and Molly, 13 and 11. And my sons, Jack and Brian, 7 and 5. My, my baby boy wants to keep standing. Go ahead. It's funny because over the weekend I mentioned to them, I got them together and I said, we're going to need to go to Wilkes University on Monday for an announcement. They were thrilled. And I said, wow, I'm so pleased that you're so proud of your father. And they said, no, we're just glad to be out of school on Monday. <laughs> we haven't broken it to them that when this is over, they're headed back to school. So. In fact, my, my uh, son Brian said to me today, Dad, after the announcement, you think we can go over to Chuck E. Cheese and celebrate? <laughs> oh boy. If anyone wants to take them to Chuck E. Cheese, there's good money in it for you. So uh, my family, I have you know, will become a big part of this Wilkes community, and I want to thank you uh, in advance for making them feel so at home. When I woke up this morning, I have to say I felt quite excited. It's not every day that a college administrator can become a colonel in just a few hours. I'm thrilled to be the newest member of this army of colonels. My first goal as your president will be, will be to get to know this university. My first assignment will be to get to know as many of you personally as I can and to try to understand as well as possible the rich history here at Wilkes. In my early days, I will listen more than I talk. I'll be seen more than I'll be heard. I'm going to begin that assessment today, in fact. After we finish here, I'm going up to the cafeteria to meet with students. Later today, I'll be dropping in on some classes, visiting the library, and stopping by some offices. If, you, if I don't get a chance to visit with you today, please don't worry. One of my goals is to visit each and every academic department an administrative area on campus within my first 60 days as the president. So we'll have ample opportunities to get to know one another. That I promise. The challenges confronting American higher education in the years ahead are intense. Facing these challenges will require all of our collective efforts, faculty, staff, and students. We need to have a shared vision for Wilkes's future a vision that you and I will build together, using, of course, Wilkes's current strategic plan as our blueprint. 
I believe in general that we must look both at strengthening our core undergraduate experience and at expanding our adult and graduate programs. We must look both at burnishing the liberal arts and growing professional programming. In my opinion, nothing prepares students better for the complexities of today's world than a liberal arts education. As I've said repeatedly when I visited campus, I think engineering students should read Shakespeare. I think business students should study the American Civil War and so on. Wilkes has a strong tradition of educating students in the liberal arts and sciences. We must strengthen the traditions of the past as we imagine the possibilities of the future. And whatever we do, whatever it is we decide to do, we must remember the important role that universities, especially urban universities like Wilkes, play in revitalizing their host cities. The future of Wilkes University and the future of the city of Wilkesbury are inextricably intertwined. Wilkes must remain a leader in civic engagement. Becoming Wilkes' president is an incredible opportunity for me. I feel at once humbled and energized by that prospect. Together, I believe we could make the next decade the most remarkable in this institution's history. Before we close today, I'd like to remember the late Timothy Healy. He was the president of the university that I attended as an undergraduate, Georgetown University. It was he who first suggested to me that working in higher education could be an important, even noble calling. Tim Healy once said, the old teach and the young dream. And in that mystery comes a tomorrow that we who are older may never know, but will have helped to shape in the minds and hearts of our students. I'm proud today to be named your sixth president. I look forward to collaborating with all of my new Wilkes colleagues and helping to shape those tomorrows for our students. Thank you very much for being here this morning.